my Nuffield scholarship is um, the potential for companion cropping in the UK arable systems. And I'm really just wanting to look at <coughs> growing more than one crop in the field at the same time. Um, that crop could be harvested together with the main crop or just left as a living mulch or be there as a second crop. But I'm just, just wanting to look at growing more than one crop in the field at the same time. Just giving you ideas and you think, well, will that work in the UK? Will it not? Um, so the cover crop was linseed, sunflowers, phacelia and buckwheat. Um, and <coughs> it was about this high. I drilled straight into it with our no-till drill. And this is what it looks like today. And you can still see some of the residue down here um, of the different crops, which is giving a good soil cover and fit food for the soil. There you go, worms all hiding in the soil. Good soil structure. Roots going straight down. Some of these, I mean that one there, that's an old root from a that'll be from the cover crop, so that's still there and that'll die off and slowly release nutrients back, plus leave a hole for worms and other roots to come in. Um, slightly darker at the top. I guess some at least probably a decade since it's been cultivated. Even then it was only cultivated the top two inches. Yeah. This field wouldn't have been subsoiled or anything for um, it's coming on nearly 15 years, I expect. Yeah. So this is a field of spring oats, um, which was drilled about three weeks ago. You can just see it coming up in rows. Um, but previous last year it had been winter wheat. And after wheat harvest, we planted a eight-way mix cover crop, um, which was then grazed by sheep in December, January time. Um, but I previously tried to under-sow oats with clover by at drilling time of the oats in the spring, just spreading the clover and hoping it came, and it didn't really work. So last year I decided as a trial to mix clover in with my cover crop in the autumn. So I'd have my eight way mix plus clover. Um, <coughs> and the idea was the clover would grow in the autumn and um, come the spring it would still be there, which it is. And then and the reason I really wanted to get sp with spring oats is because Oats always leave the ground very hungry for nitrogen, so it's always a real struggle to get a crop growing after oats. So this goes in and left the ground so hungry. So I'm hoping having the clover in the bottom will for the, have more benefits for the following crop, not necessarily this crop.